Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Blogmonk, where I simplify blogging and SEO. In today's video, we are going to see what, how can we update plugins and themes in WordPress and also we will going to see the auto update feature which is present in WordPress. Now, while blogging, the best practice is not to have too many plugins and number two, also to update them as soon as a new update is available. So these are the two best practices that you need to follow. Let's head on to our WordPress dashboard. When you log into the WordPress dashboard, you will find that whether a plugin or a theme update is available or not, it is present in three locations over here, over here, and then over here. If you click on the plugin section, you see it is mentioned three, but in the update section, it is mentioned four. Over here, also, it is mentioned four. The reason is that in the plugin section, this three represents that there are three plugins that need to be updated. When you click it on, you will find that you have the three uh, plugins. In this example, I have this all-in-one SEO, this all-in-one WordPress migration, and this Textopress. These three plugins they need to be updated. But over here, I have written uh, it's mentioned four. So if you click it, you will find that along with the three plugins, you also have the theme that needs to be updated so obviously in the plugin section i have the three plugins which we have mentioned and in the theme section i have a theme that needs to be updated so whenever you log into the dashboard kindly go through these three options if you find any number written over here just click it and see the things with that needs to be updated now in order to update it's very easy either you can manually update if you want to manually update the plugins just go to the plugin section and you can head over to the update area update now update now and update now so you can just click them update now and the ones are going to get updated so let's see if i click update now it is getting updated now uh, while it is getting up updated please let's go through a few things now why do we need to update the wordpress plugins so that our website remains secured now from wordpress 5.5 onwards the administrators have the authority to manually opt in for automatic update so you will see that uh, alongside the plugins an auto enable update is mentioned over here all you have to do is that you have to click it and now this uh, all-in-one seo from next time onward whenever a new update is available it is going to auto update it see it has been updated now you have only two updates that needs to be done now uh, manually up if you have too many plugins in your wordpress then manually updating it's tiresome so the best way is that directly head over to your update section um, then select all and then update the plugin if you do so it is going to update all the plugins that are available now by default wordpress runs auto update twice a day so if you enable the auto update whenever an update is available it is going to get updated in the next auto update uh, slot now wordpress is going to send an email notification to the uh, website owner regarding the uh, plugins that have been updated and the themes that have been updated so uh, while uh, giving the uh, if you have mentioned the email id in the suppose in the administrator email if you have mentioned the administrative email over here obviously you have to mention it uh, in that case this administrator he is going to get the email notification now you see all my plugins have been updated if i click it i will find all my plugins have been updated now um, manually updating it's tiresome and hence wordpress 5.5 onwards you have this ability to auto update now before auto update kindly remember few things that you always need to have a backup because we do not know the next update of a plugin may crash your website hence it is advisable to keep a backup now in my next in my uh, next video we are going to discuss regarding how to backup what is the best practices of uh, backupping your wordpress site now um, i have one theme that needs to be updated so just click it over here and go to the individual theme and then select it and update it so it will take some time during this time your website will be down so keep that in mind now uh, sometimes as i have told you sometimes the plugin or themes update can cause problems so it is always advisable that you have a backup 
now if uh, rolling back from a backup is is a time consuming process and hence i will advise you that you should have this plugin installed in your wordpress site this is a wp rollback plugin uh, to know about it just i will provide you the link below you can go to this plugin and see i have already loaded this plugin when you install this plugin it can roll back to the previous version of the what uh, plugin or the theme so let's install this plugin and see how it works let me go to the add new and let me search for this plugin yeah this is the plugin that you need to be in, you need to install now let me show you one thing before this plugin was installed so right now i do not have any rollback option activated over here as you can see there are no rollback option available now let me install this plugin and then i'm going to show you what will happen so when you install this plugin what will it do is that you a new option will be available so a new option will be available along with this activate and delete you will going to going to find a new option where you have the option to roll back to any version of any previous version so you can roll it back to any previous version so let the yeah it got activated now let's activate it hmm it has been activated now you see now i have a roll back option so now if i want to roll back all i have to do is have a click back roll back and i'm going to find out the previous versions which are available all i have to just do is that click that version and click roll back it will get roll back now let's see how to auto update now if you want to auto update few of the plugins then you can manually auto update as i have shown you already in all in one seo i have clicked it over here and it was auto updated if i want to auto update this plugin all i have to do is that enable auto plugin now it is being auto updated now if i want if i have too many plugins and i do not want them to be done manually so all i can do is that i can click it over here all the plugins will be selected then in the bulk action i will go to enable auto update and then apply once it is done you see all the plugins have been auto updated now suddenly after a while if you think that no i do not want auto update for a particular um plugin suppose i do not want auto update for jetpack then what will you do all you have to do is it click over here the disable auto update and now this plugin will not be auto updated so normally i will suggest you that uh, you enable all the plugins as auto updated it is preferable it will keep it updated and your wordpress safe now what about theme now in order to auto update theme you have to go to the theme section in the theme section the theme which has been installed in my case this astro theme is being installed so you are going to click the theme details from the uh, details over here you will find the enable auto update option so click it over here and auto update in the theme also you have the rollback option available because i have installed the wp rollback plugin so this wp rollback plugin this is a very handy plugin so it will not only uh, help you roll back to previous version of your pl plugins but also to the previous version of your theme as you can see over here now this extra theme will also get auto updated now if you have any other theme installed just go to that particular theme go to appearance go click theme from the theme select your particular theme which you, you want to auto update go to uh, theme details and just enable auto update that's it if you want to roll back click on roll back and uh select the particular version which will come select the particular version to this is the installed version as you can see it is mentioned in installed version if i want to go, roll back to the previous version all i have to do is just click the roll back option and just click roll back um i hope i have been able to make you understand how to auto update plugins and themes in wordpress so kindly go through this settings If you have liked my video if I have been able to explain you properly then I will highly re request you to like this video share this video with your friends and family members who need it and also comment below if you have any problem thank you